G'day, Aaron here. Welcome back to my design, creativity and technology education channel. Today in this video, I'll show you how to design and make a steampunk inspired desktop lamp using Autodesk Fusion 360 CAD CAM software and automated machining processes such as CNC milling, turning, plasma, laser and 3D printing processes. So sit back and relax and if you enjoy my video, please click thumbs up and or leave me a comment below. I've uh, completed the base and upright of this little steampunk lamp and what I need to do now is obtain the DXF file so I can take it into the plasma cam and cut the parts out. Now to do that you'll need to view onto the face that you need and export your DXF and you can see the faces here. Alrighty, let's take it into the, uh, the plasma cam software, burn some arcs and create some sparks. Here we go. The lampshade on my design was constructed from six pieces of three millimeter thick acrylic sheet. Although this design is made from six parts, in reality I only had to draw two of them. This consisted of the ring, shown here, and the strip, shown there. The strips were made from a basic 2D part, a simple rectangle and an extrusion. The lampshade rings were drawn rather differently. They consisted of two circles which were extruded and then the tabs were applied to the top, including the fillets. A circular pattern was then applied, which gave me the tabs at the bottom and the lower corner. Now I only had to draw this part once because I set up in parameters certain values for my inside and outside diameter circle. Now changing these values by roughly 10 millimeters was I was able to get the two other size rings that I needed. So let's take this over to the Epilog laser now and cut these parts out. Now the feet for my little lamp were made from free machine grade aluminium. I'll turn the base off here so you can have a better look at it. Now you don't have to draw four of these of course, you draw one and then you bring them into your assembly. Now to CNC machine this today, I drew a profile, revolved the profile and then applied a thread to this section here. The groove here is for the thread relief for the tool as it drops in there. Now it's much easier when you're CNC machining to draw your profile and to revolve it and this will aid you when you start running your cam. Let's have a look at the cam here. Just regenerate that toolpath and let's simulate. Turn our stock on and we start off with a basic face. OD profile turn, leaving roughly about half a millimetre for cleanup. Now we'll have a tool change and we'll put that little groove in for the thread relief. 
Another tool change for the profile cleanup for now thread. Roughly I think I did six passes for the threading. And last but, and, but not least is the part off. Alrighty, let's go to the Haas machine. Now, first of all, I'll show you, I'll change the tip in the uh, tool holder, change it to the right pitch, and we'll have to reprobe the tool. I've just been probed by my use car rep, Craig. Now the whole lamp was designed around this egg shaped LED torch which you can buy off AliExpress, eBay or you'll usually find them at your local $2 shop. Once again in Fusion 360 we drew a profile sketch, revolved that sketch, extruded the end, extrude cutter slot and applied this fillet feature here. From here it was exported as an STL file and 3D printed in our UP 3D printer. Unfortunately I didn't get any footage of this as I was busy CNC machining in the other room. Going to our model now you can see the base and I've turned off all the other components uh, just to highlight the base and where it is in relation to the lamp shade. Now the base is a simple 2D part once again and simple 2D adaptive machining process is applied. We can simulate these operations here for you. A total of three operations. And you'll see it here. Bottom side face, flip in the vise, top side face, followed by center drills, a drill, rigid tap, fixture plate, and then contoured. Adaptive clearing applied and then a 2D contour path. And with a chamfer cleanup. Let's take it into the mill and let's make this thing happen.
Well there you have it, my completed steampunk inspired desktop lamp, designed in Fusion 360 and entirely digitally manufactured. So thanks for watching and if you like what you saw, why not subscribe to ensure you don't miss out on any future videos I post. Until next time, keep spinning those bits and ripping chips. See you later.